Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Bauer Vapor 2X Pro Elbow Pad Snapshot Review. Before that, if you are buying any piece of equipment, please check out the link in the description to purehockey.com. Click on that link, make a purchase. We'll give me a kickback to help support the channel so I keep doing what I'm doing. So I originally wasn't gonna be doing a video on these at all, didn't really think of them that much, but I'm reviewing the Sherwood Code 5 Elbow Pads and I wanted a three-piece design to compare them to. So I grabbed these because they are that three-piece design. I had the Supremes already, but they're the two-piece. My Ultra Tacks are also the two-piece. So I wanted to grab these to do the comparison on, and then I got kind of blown away with them. They are expensive at $179 Canadian. So this is basically what I wanted the 2S Pro to be. Before I jump into that, we're just gonna take a look at quickly what this all is. So you have your curve here. You have your thermal core liner all through here. It's very comfortable to have your elbow pad in, except for the straps, they are a little bit uncomfortable. I always wear a base layer, so it's not a huge, huge issue for me, but I wanna call it out. You have this perforated foam on the pads here, and you have Bowers exposed kind of molded foam all throughout here. Pretty standard stuff on the vapor line. I think you'd lose some curve that was up here before, but anyways, this is interesting because it's a, uh, you can see it's like the spandex, but it doesn't detach from the elbow sleeve, so you have to slide yourself in, and you tighten it like that, and that's how you tighten it. A little weird and a little disappointing, you can't tighten that more, but it, fits fine and actually wraps pretty good and it doesn't really move that much. So that's kind of works in their favor, I'm going to say. One thing I noticed is I always thought it should be out like this, but it naturally folds inwards. So you can kind of feel that pinching on my skin right here, but I'm sure without with a base layer on it wouldn't be an issue, but just giving a call out because a lot of people don't wear base layers for under these. So one of the my criticisms of this is there is no pour on in it. Bauer has kind of pulled pour on out of some of their products. It was never really in the vapor line to begin with, but that's where I'm kind of feel that they could are missing out. You could put pour on in this little donut right here. So you have pour on protection right there, just like what's on the Supreme. And one of the reasons why I really like the Supreme is because of that pour on piece. And that's a great feature, great foam. I wish that was in this one, kind of disappointing that it's not. So the reason I really love these is because of this curve wrap. This is basically how I wanted the Supreme one to be, specifically on how it wraps around your hand or your wrist. Basically, it closes around itself like that and it doesn't get in the way. You can kind of see it. Hopefully it comes off. You can kind of see how that wraps right there. It wraps all the way around without getting interfered with. When I put this on, and this was my problem before, you can see how it doesn't overlap. And then even if it does overlap, the way this protect, like this piece connects, you can't really make it work the way it should anyways because even then this piece isn't going to allow it to kind of wrap correctly and it's just not going to work the way I wanted it to. People mentioned heating this up, flattening it out. One, I don't really agree with having to do that with gear to, to make it work. I, I know everything's personal preference, but this, the way that this folds over, you can see, is exactly what I wanted for this. And this just doesn't work with it because the strapping system just doesn't work with how they want that to be. And that was disappointing. So my problem with the Supremes compared to the Vapors is when I wear these two S Pros, which are 15 inch, fit me perfectly, both large. You can see how much the Supremes get in the way. The Vapors have like this ridge and it just moves perfect with it. No interference at all. It's there, but nothing happens. And that gap coverage is fantastic. That's amazing. Where this one, like it totally interferes. It's super uncomfortable. I noticed this when playing and I basically stopped wearing them for a while or had to go to 14 inch gloves to actually make them work. And what I mean by 14 inch gloves, when I put these on, which are 14 inch, even this one still interferes a bit where with the one on the right, both these are 14s by the way, moves perfectly. And then with any glove with the flex cuff, I couldn't do anything with the vapors as well. So you can see this one overlaps, but it moves and slides just perfect. So it doesn't actually really cause any issues where this one, it definitely does. It gets in the way right away. And finally, those are 14s. When we go to the 15s, it's even more errant. So I can't even, like it just gets stuck and I can't move it. This one goes over top and just slides fine. Like perfect. So the only way I could wear these was with short cuff 14 inch gloves. So I was really disappointed, but these ones fit amazing and really, really nice. My only concern is a bit of a padding over here. It's not super thick, it's not super thick here either where I like the curve on this one better. So basically my ideal, my ideal elbow pad would be cut off this piece right here, attach it to this piece right here, and you would have like my ideal elbow pad with how this is made. I'm really impressed with these. I'm probably gonna end up picking up a pair uh, because I'm so impressed with them and because it fits so well in my gloves. 
Huge props to Bauer for that. I'm a huge fan of what these are and how they fit. And this wraps exactly how I wanted to around my wrist compared to this one, which is all kind of blah, blah, and this just gets in the way and is way too bulky. This works really well. Protection obviously won't be as good as what is on the Supremes, but this from doing my impact testing on this, it worked. This was better than the CCM ones, which were a bit thicker without the, the curve. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Going to probably try these out. But I wanted to show it because I was, again, when I get impressed with gear, I like talking about it and showing it. So, yeah. So hopefully this video was helpful. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you ever do buy a piece of gear like this, because of one of my videos, please just have to manufacturers, let them know on social media. It helps me get on the radar so I keep doing reviews and making videos like this. If you are looking to buy a piece of gear, please check out the link to Pure Hockey. Click on that link, make a purchase. It will give me a kickback. So it helps me support the channel so I keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching HockeyReviews.ca